I was bullied very severely in middle and high school. Many years ago, but I'm still deeply disturbed and depressed. I can't force the memories to go away. Is it the bully's fault for traumatizing me for this long, or is it my fault for holding on to such irrational premises as to still be bothered by events that happened so many years ago and that I know will never happen again? Of course, I would say it is 100% uh, the bully's fault. They uh, unleashed attacks, probably physical and uh, linguistic, uh, that uh, cut you down at a time when you were helpless and relatively ignorant. The fact that it was long ago is, uh, bullies, I may say, are really wicked people. 99 times out of 100. The hundredth is the guy who's a bully just because he wants to be liked by the other bullies. The fact that this is a long time ago, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago, is completely irrelevant. You must have had some profound philosophic conclusion implicitly from this experience. They all hate me. I'm helpless. I'm no good. I can't do anything about it. I'm the butt of the world. I'm an outcast. How can I ever get along uh, in the world? What kind of future can I expect? In other words, a real assault on your self-esteem and your view of a benevolent, uh, hopeful life and universe. That does not go away. Even if uh, there's only some incidents 20, 40 years ago that provoked it, it cannot go away unless you do something on that level. Uh, because it becomes your metaphysics. It becomes your way of looking at the world and functioning and becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you feel unconfident, you don't undertake tasks which require confidence, so you continue to reiterate to yourself how lacking you are. And the same if you think the world is hostile, uh, you don't venture into the world nearly as much, and so you more and more get the idea you can't get anywhere in this world. You have to get rid of these premises, get rid of these problems, but the only way you can do it is by therapy. It would be almost impossible to uproot and reintegrate in a more rational way. A therapist would have to take you back over the concretes, make you, as far as I understand, I'm not a therapist, make you really remember in detail these episodes and the conclusions you came to and then take you through to high points of your life, showing how uh, they were influenced uh, and put you on the wrong track all the way. And meanwhile, providing for you an idea of a baby step and then a bigger step and then a bigger toward a, a better viewpoint. It's a long, difficult thing. I 100% sympathize with you. It is not your fault. You know, there's a documentary out now called uh, Bully, which I mean to see. But I do think bullies are a bad, bad problem in the schools and that uh, it's a disgrace, among other things, that they are allowed to flourish as they do.